So what's the deal with Mario and mushrooms? An Italian plumber created by a Japanese corporation who levels up to overcome the tribulations and adversities of his virtual world through the ingestion of ability boosting and life enhancing mushrooms. For millions of us around the world, Mario's mycophilia was our first exposure to the empowering potential of fungi. But how did magic mushrooms end up playing an integral role in one of the world's most beloved invisible elements of pop culture? For the inside scoop, let's turn to Shigeru Miyamoto, legendary game designer of such immortal franchises as Donkey Kong, The Legend of Zelda, and of course Mario Bros. In a 2015 interview with NPR, Miyamoto had the following to say when pressed about his idea for including life-enhancing and performance-boosting fungi in the Mario Brothers franchise. The healing and divinatory powers of mushrooms have long been known to occupants of the archipelago currently known as Japan. Like many other prehistorical sites around the world, ceramic mushroom figures have been excavated from significant archaeological sites of the Joman people that lived here thousands of years ago. Culinary and medicinal mushrooms are generally looked upon favorably in Japanese culture. One of the world's favorite culinary mushrooms, the maitake, means dancing mushroom in Japanese, and it derives its name from the happy dance that people who found them in the wild purportedly let loose with. Here are a few of the common mushrooms that are beloved in Japan, some of which you may be familiar with. Now that we've set the historical context for the existence and adoration of mushrooms in Japan throughout history, let's take a look at the modern framework for psychedelic mushroom usage and proliferation in Japan. Until 2002, a legal loophole in Japanese law allowed for psilocybin containing mushrooms to be openly cultivated, bought, and sold. The psychoactive ingredients of psilocybin and psilocin were outlawed, but the mushrooms themselves enjoyed an exemption from prohibition and thus were bought and sold openly in shops around the trendy neighborhood of Shibuya and other districts of Tokyo. This may come as a surprise to those who rightfully consider Japan to have relatively draconian and harsh drug laws. Even Paul McCartney was arrested for marijuana possession in Japan in 1980 and spent nine days in detention thereafter. But the historical presence, natural abundance, and the modern legal loopholes favoring psychoactive mushroom consumption in Japan all point to a strong possibility that Mario's magic mushrooms are not a random element of fantasy or trivia, but a massively successful and globally recognized endorsement of the healing and transformative power of mushrooms. Whether or not they help plumbers destroy evil warlords is another story. But one thing we may all agree on is that those of us who have a relationship with mushrooms have a competitive advantage against the trials and tribulations of our own virtual realities. You already know what I'm gonna say. Please go ahead, subscribe, drop a like, comment, share the video. I'm here in the Micropreneur Studio. We're doing this for you. Thank you so much for watching.